Hi everybody, how are you doing? I am here, uh, well was live, is recording right now, at a JT Fox mega event in Los Angeles. And here I have Rena, right? She just earlier got a standing ovation from an amazing singing voice here. She just sang incredible. And not only that, but you wrote this song. Yeah, I did. So, um, I will ask you that question first here in the sense of how has singing helped you in your personal life? Not like a tool, like a hammer, but in your personal life. Yeah, um, so obviously growing up, like I had a very, very bad stutter. So um, singing was really good for me because you know, when we, like when you sing, like you don't stutter. So like that was kind of like the relief where like I could actually express myself and like say what I wanted to say, but like it said to be song. Okay. Um, so like you know, like that was really really good, and and, and obviously music is, is a great form of tool to be able to emotionally connect with people. Um, so like that's kind of how 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 it all started. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I really like how you said it's like an expression of you feel the song you wrote. I gotta laugh. I gotta laugh because you know how most people's songs out there is really has a meaning behind it. And here it was you got it turned down. It's kind of a middle finger yeah. towards there. Yeah. And most people will look at the failure, but no, you turn it around and made it a song yeah. of you just keep on moving, keep on going. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like that's like one of the reasons like why I called it so like so think twice because like originally it was called overqualified, but then I was like, no, I need to call the album that. Um, so, so like the song like as you heard like it's about how well you know like you like you turned me down so once I'm starting to get success like you, like there's no coming back it's like so like don't come crawling back to me you know trying to be like my best mate or like yeah. you, know, you know trying to do favors for me it's like well if you don't want me when I'm down here then you're not gonna get me when I'm up here so like that's the premise uh, of the whole song. Isn't that beautiful? I seen too many people. Obviously, you probably seen it too. Where oh no, this doesn't happen. Oh poor me, I'm gonna go sit yeah. in the living room and eat food, and, that, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And you're like, no, I'm gonna turn around and make a song out of it. Yeah. So if anybody doesn't like me, listen to this song. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, another question here. I'm gonna switch gears here because I always talk about humor. How humor is so vitally important. Yeah, yeah. How has humor helped you in your daily life? Yeah, so like my dad is probably one of the funniest people around. So like he, so, so like he raised me where like you take nothing to heart, like be very easygoing, you know, have like a lot of humor because like humor makes a difference, right? You know, especially like when you're talking to someone and like you're cracking a joke and then like it's just like deadpan. It's like <laughs> no energy, like you know, it's like no just like positivity to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so like my dad always raised me. It's like you got to take a joke and like you know just like really you know become very personal like true humor so like i so i definitely think that that's helped me both on a personal level to build up uh relationships as well as on a professional level mm, as well yeah beautiful yeah beautiful and so you have a, a joke that you have by <laughs> i'm curious right because last time i ask people they're like i don't know what to say but you got one you're like right off the bat yeah, so like this is probably like one of my favorite like Christmas jokes, which, um, which I got from like those uh, crackers. I don't know oh, what you yeah, call yeah, it. Yeah, 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 because they're crackers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, what do you get when you cross a snowman with, with a vampire? Uh, snowman and a vampire. Uh, frostbite. A uh, frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good one. Isn't I like it. it? Yeah, I yeah. like it. It's clean. It's fun. Yeah. And Christmas is around the corner here, yeah, so yeah. I love it. And I got one for you. Okay, sure. All right. And uh, why didn't the queen wave with this hand? Why? You don't know? No, no. Oh. Tell me what. I mean. Oh, because it's mine. Oh my god! <laughs> I think my joke was better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put your thumbs, put your comments in there, which is better. Yeah, it's hands down, hands yes, down. Yes. All right. And. So where are you from again? Uh, Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia, yeah. all the way here in California. It's been such a pleasure and an honor. And thank you for blessing us with your voice. Oh, thank you. And not just your voice, but also the passion in your song and your story. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I know it's wrong hand, but yeah. thank, <laughs> thank you. you. And everybody, make sure to click like, comment, share, and subscribe. Throw some comments and show some love. Because you are awesome. No, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.